Y'all are gonna interrupt me while I'm eating my dinner? Fine, I'll go ahead and review the Nugget Honey. <laughs> I did just wrap up a review for the Purdue Chicken Plus, to be exact. And so, decided to go ahead and try this out with some First We Feast Presents Hot Ones Nugget Honey. It's honey infused with pepper X. I'm not sure how to feel about this. In case you're not familiar, and I correct me if I'm wrong, which I know you guys are so lovely at doing that. <laughs> there is a show or a YouTube channel, and I, I'm not sure if it's called First We Feast or Hot Ones. It actually branched out to a game show called Hot Ones, where people can eat spicy wings and compete for money. So I decided to, I'm not sure why, uh, decided to try this for you guys. <laughs> and since it does suggest eating it with chicken, why not go ahead and review it with some chicken? All right. Smells sweet, like honey. Oh, no, 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 no. That was just the lid. So I do smell some honey. But I also smell some heat. And I know you guys know exactly what I'm talking about when I smell when I smell heat. It doesn't make sense, but when you know, you know there's something else added to it. However, the smell of honey is pretty strong. You have that underlining to it. And yes, I'm going to continue to talk to kind of avoid trying this. <laughs> Y'all know when it comes to hot things, I do procrastinate. So we're going to go ahead and read this. This is Hot Ones Nugget Honey. For Hot Ones sweetest offering yet, American Craft Gin is infused with a tantalizing dose of Pepper X before being bound before being blended into pure alfalfa honey with from the Wind River Valley Mountain. Perfect for tender morsels of fried chicken. What do you think we got here? It's air fried, but it's still fried. <laughs> uh, nugget honey also transforms pizzas, cocktails, and desserts into elevated treats for the senses. Do not refrigerate. So suggest, and I'm showing you the picture right here, which you can see a larger version of that right there. It says try with chicken, pizza, drinks, and ice cream. I'm not sure about ice cream. Although it does kind of make sense though, because it's both sweet. So just to be clear, the YouTube channel is called First We Feast. And the Hot Ones is their show. The game show that I was mentioning. <sighs> okay. Enough of me talking. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a little dab on my finger. No, 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 that's all I can say is no, <laughs> I don't want to try no more. <laughs> Y'all seen how little I put on my finger. And I will say my mouth is not on fire, but I know that if I dip some more, I'm not going to be happy. <laughs> Because I actually feel like the little tingling in the back of my throat, you know, where I could I could feel the heat kind of building up just a little bit. <clears throat> and that was just a little, a little taste. So I'm going to go ahead and regret this decision. This, this is for you guys right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put a nice amount. So if I'm crying by the end of this video, I'm telling you I did this for you guys. And I will be needing some ice cream after this. Hopefully that'll be the next review. <laughs> Y'all think that's enough? I know it's too much. <laughs> and I really can't tell because it blends in pretty nicely, but I'm pretty sure the reflection of the light helps kind of give you an idea of how much is on there. <sighs> Why do you guys torture me? Why do you guys twist my arm and force me to try these things? 
these things here. Oh, before I forget, <laughs> the serving size is about one tablespoon. The calories are 60, although I'm pretty sure you can easily burn that off with just uh, the amount of heat that's in this. Infused is definitely right on that. Um, let's see. The total carbs, total sugars, and added sugars are all 17. The rest of everything else is zero to kind of give you guys an idea of, and sum it up pretty quickly, the nutritional facts. So carbs, five, or carbs, sugar, and added sugar are all 17 grams, which kind of makes sense. It is honey. All right, guys. I hope this mascara that I put on today is waterproof. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> And yes, I ate all of the pieces that had honey on it. Actually, it's not that bad. Wait, I think I might be regretting what I just said. No. I feel a little bit of heat right here on the inside of my lip. But it's mainly because the honey directly touched that portion. But I think the, it seems like the rest, the, the honey was, or the spice from the honey was kind of absorbed because my, my, my mouth is not on fire. With the exception of this little spot right here. Oh wait, I'm feeling a little bit in the back of my throat. Just a little bit. But it's very tolerable. Very tolerable. Considering the, the little tingly that I had from just trying without, but it seems like it, if you have it with food, it's, it's going to be fine. If you want to add a little bit of sweetness to it. Now drinks, I'm not sure about that one and how that would work. I can't think of any drinks that I have that I could add honey to it. Just as a backup, I'm going to go ahead and torture myself just a little bit more and pour a little bit more honey. And see if I notice a difference and as you can see there is a nice thick layer of honey on it why am I torturing myself I have no idea I don't really taste too much heat. I'm thirsty though. Yeah, I taste no heat at all. <laughs> no, I'm kidding you guys. I really don't taste too much heat. It, I was <laughs> honestly, I was really thirsty. <laughs> I just kind of had to build up some anticipation for you guys. I feel a little bit more heat the more I, the more honey I put on it. I really don't feel like my mouth is on fire. I, I actually have more heat eating maybe Takis or hot Cheetos or something along those lines. But with this honey, if you're eating it by itself, yes, you will feel some heat. That second dose, and as I said, there was there was a good chunk of uh, honey on there. I felt a little bit of heat on the the outer rim of my tongue, but I am not. My eyes aren't watering. Absolutely, I'm good. What I add it to to my regular chicken nuggets? I don't have a problem with it. I really don't. And to prove you guys, I'm also hungry. So any reason to <laughs> eat some more, I'm all for it because you guys interrupted my dinner. <laughs> so as and like I said this just to prove to you guys that I'm being 100% legit and not trying to psych anybody out and as far as my heat tolerance depending on the day so with the hot Cheetos yes I can easily eat an entire bag some days and the other days I eat you know one Taki or one hot Cheeto and yeah I'm done for the day <laughs> So obviously today is a good day. <laughs> I have no 
no heat in my mouth. So if you guys are, are worried about maybe sensitivity or anything like that, of course, try it with food. I'm going to put a little bit of heat, a little bit more heat this time. But I'm, I'm it's, like I said, very tolerable. If you're sensitive to heat, but you still want to try this, I would encourage you definitely to try it with a breaded food, just so that way it can absorb it a little bit more versus doing it just like I did originally started out with, with trying it on my finger, because that's really where I felt more heat when I'm just eating just the honey. Would I recommend it? If you love spicy, definitely you've got to try it. And like I said, just depending on how your tolerance is. I like it. Am I, yeah, I'm definitely going to incorporate it. I'd definitely give it a, I'd say a four out of five only because it can be tricky. Because if you, it's, if it's just eating the honey by itself, which I do know people that are weird enough just to eat honey by themselves. Uh, yeah, you're going to have some heat, but otherwise go for it and try it with uh, some food, some drinks. Let me know if you've tried it. I'm going to regret this next statement, but if you want me to try any more of the before or first we feast slash hot ones uh, sauces, please don't torture me guys. I'll go ahead and add it to my, um, my enormously long list of, <laughs> of food. So I might not get to it for another like year or two, but, um, I'll go ahead and add it to my list. <laughs> It's definitely going to go at the end of the list. <laughs> Alright guys, so hopefully I gave you an idea about this <clears throat> nugget honey. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be more than happy to answer. And if you've tried it, I'd love to hear your experience and your opinion on it. In the meantime, make sure that you subscribe to Jazzy Foods as well as my other YouTube channel, Jazzy Reviews. In the meantime, stay tuned and stay jazzy. Thanks for watching, guys.